Welcome back to JSA TV Live. We are the newsroom for Tech Telecom and Data Centers, and we are live from the expo floor here at Channel Partners in beautiful, sunny Las Vegas, Nevada, having a wonderful time here. Uh, I've snagged for you for us now. We've got Warren Rayburn. He's the Senior Vice President of the Technology Division at SIB Fixed Cost Reduction. Thanks so much for stopping by here. Well, thank you. I appreciate the opportunity to uh, re-engage with the team at JSA, a uh, big part of uh, my past and, uh, you know, our brand elevation efforts at Comstar Technologies. So thrilled to reconnect with you guys here. It's been quite a while, thanks to the pandemic and otherwise. But yeah, wonderful to connect. But we're all here and we're all back in person. And it's just been a really wonderful show so far, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. And, you know, from my perspective, a lot of new faces, um, which is refreshing. I think pre-pandemic, uh, this industry needed some injection of uh, youth and uh New perspectives, uh, and and frankly, for that matter, also you know from a technology standpoint, I think the embrace of the the IT uh, discussion, uh, the managed services elements of things, cybersecurity, and otherwise, you know, you can see it on the floor, and it's been an evolution over the last couple of years, and certainly accelerated through the course of the pandemic. So I'm very happy, having been in this space for 23 years, to see see that evolution, you know, take root in the embrace, you know, and uh, people coming out of their comfort zones in many ways. Yeah, absolutely. And this is just the place to be doing that, by the way. So absolutely. That, that's really great to hear. So let's talk for just a moment about SIB. And for those who might not know, give us a little bit of a background on the company. Sure. So based in Charleston, South Carolina, I've uh, been in business for roughly 15 years. Uh, the company started, you know, I would I, I characterize it as much of a, an expert generalist approach, any recurring uh, cost that a business could bring to the table. Arguably, this, this group was able to audit uh, and reduce. I mean, that's really what our mission is. Um, Thanks to our CEO, Kevin Flounders. Uh, he has refined the strategic vision for the business over the last two to three years. Uh, we've brought on six new companies, uh, working on some additional activity in the M&A uh, space uh, through the end of this year, for that matter. Uh, but fundamentally, we're an inventory and expense management company with the ideal outcome being, you know, in this you know, cost reduction space. Uh, we're here this week, frankly, to talk about number of things uh but chief among them i think in terms of the cost reduction side of the house you know we're doing some things to meet the demands of, of this audience we're talking about it and cloud related services so we over the last course of course the last couple of months added a cloud expense management uh function uh within our stack and we also have just recently within the last couple of weeks uh, for that matter moved on to uh, also include SaaS expense management so a lot of great uh opportunity for us as i see it um, you know, but again, fundamentally staying true to who we are. And uh, in addition to the technology division at SIB, it's worth noting, we focus in three other core areas. Uh, so we have uh, peers in, for example, financial services. So merchant and uh, treasury fees, uh, looking to reduce those. We also have a utilities and waste side of the organization. So water, gas, electric, and so on. And then finally, logistics. Uh, so shipping and freight, reducing those costs. So again, in summary on the technology side, hyper-focused, cloud, SaaS, but also, again, where we started the business, wireline, wireless, cable television, um, you know, getting inventory situated, bringing value, helping companies modernize, uh, and uh, ultimately being, a, you know, just an augmentation to their to their existing teams. Yeah, so staying true to your roots and then still looking for those opportunities to grow and serve customers, and there's been a lot of that growth. You hinted at some of it just now with yeah. the, the M&A and um, so as much as you want to share with us here, can you tell us about that growth and what's driving it? Yeah, absolutely. I think the macroeconomic conditions, uh, you know, frankly, uh, are fueling a good bit of that growth. I think that, again, going back to Kevin's strategic vision and the execution of as much in such a short, finite timeline in, you know, two to three years, providing the business with that focus. You know, again, those four foundational pillars of, of who we are. Um, and as just from this point forward, again, I think from an organic perspective, we're now at 400 uh, plus employees. Uh, roughly 40 to 50 members of staff at any one time in sales, so account management, account executives. Uh, Audrey Lanning, who thankfully uh, oversees our operational uh, you know, efforts on the tech side, is here with me this week. We're talking a lot about our capability in the partnership space also. And, uh, you know, so that's a big driver for us. So the organic piece with our direct resources, indirect considerations, always going to talk between divisions about cross-sell and upsell opportunities. And where there's an acquisition opportunity that makes sense, we're certainly going to uh, going to make ourselves available. Yeah, absolutely. So what what's next for the team? It sounds like you've got no shortage of projects coming down the pike. <laughs> it's very true. Yeah. I, I think, you know, again, getting the, the go-to-market piece uh, assembled, uh, you know, in support of what we're doing on the technology side, but also bringing together these disparate brands finally. 
Uh, over the course, thankfully, with the arrival of our chief marketing officer, Angela Cena, in October, we've done some things to standardize our messaging. So, you know, for example, you know, the portfolio companies previously weren't aligned, you know, in terms of a division of and otherwise. So it's just simple blocking and tackling, getting those things addressed, uh, but ultimately getting down the path uh, of, a, of a rebranding initiative, getting everybody under the uh, SIB umbrella here in very short order. So unified, uh, I would summarize by just ending and offering that it's unified messaging, uh, unified brand and elevation of the brand, uh, refining our go-to-market strategies. And, you know, as I said, hopefully continuing that growth along those, you know, those, those means that I outlined, direct, indirect, and uh, in organic considerations where available. Well, you guys have got a lot going on and we look forward to watching it and just seeing how everything progresses. So keep us updated and we'll keep our viewers updated. But where can we go to learn more information? Thank you. Yeah, so to learn more, just uh, head to uh, about sib.com, A-B-O-U-T-S-I-B.com, please. And, uh, you know, from my end, thank you again so much, uh, JSA, for your partnership through the years and not only just with Comstar, but uh, more things to follow you know, and the collaboration. So you guys have been a very key part of our success and I thank you for that. Absolutely. And we look forward to continuing to help in whatever capacity we can. And of course, having you back on JSA TV sometime to tell us all about it. Absolutely. So thanks thank you for so stopping by, Warren. We really appreciate your time. Hope you enjoy the rest of the day and the show here at Channel Partners. And thank you to our viewers for tuning in. We'll be back here live again very soon. So don't go anywhere. In the meantime, happy networking.